What's going on guys? My name is Matt or MC Sports Talk and on the 20th of February, which is in four days I believe, they are announcing possibly the next PlayStation, PlayStation 4 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to have a live stream going for that. It's basically a conference, I think it's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's in New York and they're having a PlayStation conference. So they might tell us about the new console, but here are some rumors and leaks that we know about so far. If you guys haven't seen this picture yet, it's basically a uh, rumored new controller and you can see right there it's got some kind of LCD or touch screen right in the middle. The uh, uh, the actual thumbsticks look a little bit different too. If you look closely, they kind of look like they're smaller at first, but they are just have these ring around the, the, the outsides to make it probably easier to grip. Um, they're saying it could be an LCD screen or a touchpad, maybe even both, similar to the PS Vita's rear panel. And then another one, uh, another picture came up uh, a couple days ago, and it's it looks almost the same except it looks a little bit longer or wider and skinnier if you ask me and um, one of the quotes we have here is actually quite interesting the CEO said why go first when you competitors can look at your specifications and come up with something better which makes us believe that they're gonna wait for Xbox or Microsoft to release their next generation console before PlayStation releases theirs which is interesting because we're expecting to have some kind of information uh, on the 20th of this major release or this major update to their consoles after what's well, been like eight years or so Next thing, uh, Sony plans to utilize Gaki, I think that's how you say it, a game streaming company that owns the Sony owns to stream existing PS3 games to the new consoles. Now, one of the things they're talking about, uh, rumored, is that you won't be able to go back and play PS3 games or PS2 games or PS1 games, obviously, but mostly PS3 games on the PS4, which means nowhere backwards compa com com compatibility. Excuse me, uh, which would suck, which means you'd have to keep your PS3 to play any of those games unless they had the streaming, which would be cool. I would hope they have that, and I would assume that they would have it, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Next thing here, um, some new stuff that they're going to think they're gonna it's going to have is twice the power and speed of PlayStation 3, which is not that important, really. I mean, it's just faster. They'll probably have better graphics. It will have better graphics. Uh, how intense? Not sure yet. Um, and then last week that they... They heard, or people are thinking, that it's going to be about $430, which is outrageous if you ask me, especially if you can't play PS3 games, uh, PS3 disc games on it anyway. If you'd have to get some kind of payment to get the stream to play PS3 games on PS4, that would be a ton of money to throw down for a whole new system. But then again, if you want to get these new games coming out for PS4 only, they wouldn't put out for PS3 probably. Um, You'd have to buy a PS4, obviously. So $430, would you guys pay that much money if it, if it was that much money? And it, there's a good chance it will be around that amount. $400 is a ton of money, though, for anybody, not just not just uh, me. So another thing they said is the 4 gigabytes of RAM is what the dev kits had, but they're going to expect to have uh, up to 8 gigabytes, which is pretty pretty beastly for a console. And that's uh, GDDR5, which is apparently fast. Uh, I don't really know too much about that. And then the next thing is they're going to say it's going to be released around Christmas time this year, which is pretty far away still. It's the end of the year. This year just started, obviously. But for uh, the UK and Europe, you're not going to get it until next year, which is crazy. So for those guys in, the, in Europe, uh, would you guys be willing to pay $430 from somewhere else to get it shipped to you guys? Is that is that too crazy or what? I think that's a little bit ridiculous, but that's what you're going to have to do if this is all true. And the last thing is, uh, like we said before, backwards compa compatibility. I can't say that. Sorry. Uh, is likely not to be able, not to be available in the next generation consoles, which kind of sucks. I don't understand why they'd ever do that, because then they can't really sell as many of their old games, or as many of the games that most people are playing right now anyway, unless you throw down 400 hours to buy this new console, and then buy the new games. So what do you guys think? Will you guys keep your PS3s if this is true? Leave a comment below. How much is it too expensive for you guys? What are you guys thinking? Would you rather get an Xbox? Um, catch you guys next time. Peace.